alkaline-trap method is a simple laboratory procedure useful for quantifying microbial activity in a soil by measuring respired carbon dioxide. To complete this portion of the alkaline-trap method, you will need incubated canning jars with alkaline traps, long tweezers, three 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flasks, deionized water in a laboratory wash bottle, a 10 milliliter pipette with tips, and a 50 milliliter burette on a stand. In addition, you will need the following reagents. 0.5 molar barium chloride, 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid, and phenylphthalein indicator. Participants should wear goggles, gloves, and protective clothing when completing this procedure. The alkaline trap methods are divided into two parts in order to accommodate an incubation period. This video will focus on the second part of the procedure involving determination of microbial respiration by titrating the contents of the trap. Before beginning the procedure, remember that a burette reads backwards with zero at the top and 50 milliliters at the bottom. It is important to record both the initial and final readings in order to accurately quantify how many milliliters were dispensed. The burette should be filled with 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid and labeled accordingly. Before beginning the titration, label three Erlenmeyer flasks with green, brown, and control. Carefully remove the alkaline traps from the incubation jars using tweezers and pour the contents into the corresponding flask. Next, rinse the vial with deionized water into the flask to flush out all of the remaining NaOH. The amount of water used in this step is negligible. Repeat the process for each jar. Add 10 milliliters of barium chloride to each flask. This will result in the formation of a precipitate, turning the solution cloudy white. Next, add five drops of phenylphthalein indicator to each flask. This will then turn the solution bright pink to red. Swirl the contents of the flask to mix them. Carefully position one of the flasks under the burette opening. Record the initial volume of hydrochloric acid in the burette and allow it to slowly drip into the flask. Swirl the contents of the flask as the hydrochloric acid is added. Stop the dripping of the acid when the flask contents turn milky white. This signals the completion of the titration. It is important for the acid to drip slowly because this transition may be abrupt. Record the final volume in the burette to quantify how many milliliters were used, then repeat the process for each additional flask. Remember that the volume of hydrochloric acid used is equivalent to the final volume minus the initial volume. For example, if the final volume were 18 milliliters and the initial volume were 0 milliliters, then you would have used 18 milliliters of hydrochloric acid in the titration. The vials may be refilled with sodium hydroxide, placed back into the incubation jars, and this process repeated at a later date in order to track changes in microbial respiration over time.